Deputy Chief Minister Home and Border Affairs, uh, Mr. Yantongopa Dunba, Aji Chair Grigna Yede, September 9th, Chumugirima Police Complex, Rhododendron Holba, Edo ILP issue Laga Upurde, Naglende, Skimans, the civil society organizations, along with the students' union, Hanoga Day, Ekta meeting, Rakigina Samikan Kobor Paisa, that I'd like to meeting though, do ILP Laga Upurde, and discuss Kurule Samikan Kobor Paisa that. Uh, Deputy C. Embra, the implementation committee in regard with the ILP, at the committee set up, I wrote a report to be already state government, I state government laga response to KSI, I wrote a report to be to meeting laga opore jaina detail ba sai sabo. Even in Arunachal, 
out of the blue kene ka harise kene ka charise itu the reason is known to to the government ami kan jodi ilp to implement posari kuribo hole ami kan i think this is the right time for us and this is the right moment the golden opportunity for us to implement ilp strictly uh the western sing you found would like to uh give some suggested measures on implementation of ilp uh first of all the office of the western sing you found assert that the proposed border road that the western regions share with the neighboring states poses a threat to safety security and identity of the neighbors while bringing us to the initial intent of the bengal eastern frontier regulation of 1873 and its subsequent in a line permit while retaining its core principle it is important that its nature is justified through proper implementation we do have uh, you know the right thing to do illegal immigrants are foreigners who are illegally entering the state then more problem is migrants indian citizens but who are entering the state without ilp so uh, i have seen that there are many reasons why people enter the state economic activities such as agri laborers construction laborers etc business large number of business people in the state especially in mapu to kirima area you will see that around 100 90% are non locals i really used to wonder whether these people are illegal immigrants number one or if not whether they have ilp because uh, in tunga town you will see every state business is run by non locals is uh, something to be under upon and if you go around the area in mapur big swath of land are owned by us nagas but the land are tilled and look after by non locals are these illegal immigrants number one or are these indian citizens but without ilp so these two i think we need to first as madam who depend women hope say identification and detection is very important the chumirima lota ho fully agree with the fact that it will be a robust challenge for implementation of ilp particular particularly in dimapur new land and chumugirima district because of that because of porous entry and exit point i can promptly say is that this boundary is very porous and unguarded except naglem get at dimapur I said that we the Kacharis can contribute and cooperate in the district administration in checking the inflow of illegal immigrants by being a watchdog. The Kacharis have always cooperated with the government of Nagaland in all programs. And therefore it is requested that we may not be forgotten totally in consultative meeting like this thank you sir we can see people coming from near nearby villages every day they come they do the work and they go because it is free there is no ilp it is happening they come from outside dimapur to chimugidima town also they work here day time and they go away so easy not only the construction work or the businesses but all the illegal immoral happenings are also happen and it is a day time job they do it is open because there is no ilp amiga sai sabte jibikan sai sabte 
डिमापुर दे थाकी किने साय हिसाब दे गवर्नमेंट पर एकटा सिस्टम दो ला बोलाई इलीगल इमिग्रेशन दो चेक करू बोले असे कोइले दो आमी का लाभ भावना दे फर्स्ट पॉइंट एकटा तो होले द गवर्नमेंट मे गिव एन ऑफिशियल ऑर्डर एज मैंडेटरी टू नॉन इंडिजिनस रिसाइडिंग इन द स्टेट टू प्रोड्यूस रेसिडेंसी प्रूफ from the native village town authority which must be countersigned by the district administration equivalent to dc or adc which will become a basis to ascertain the genuineness of a person person citizenship of that particular state itu ekta kurubo paise boli tu yes age the speaker khan bhi koise duplicate bhi banai ki banai holi why the government the administration they can still have relation with other state so this is kind of the that communicate relation taki kine counterpart lo taki kine itu jani ho pare aaj kal li to only to internet laga world de ase is very easy communicate group le suppose you take for example karimganj laga dc dimapur dc taizinbara connect taki se bolle to itu manu ekta identity to tai laga ki ase itu jani bolle to itu pura group pare second point hole make mandatory for the village council gps colony authorities to strictly adhere to the official order of the government on the issue of residency certificate to non naga indigenous people the issue of illegal immigrants raises concern and affects life of all of us the district administration is fully clear to to meet the challenges i would like to thank each and every one of you for your cooperation and support to the district administration and i look forward for your support and cooperation in future also as uh, my friend mr singh said mentioned i think we have to firstly differentiate between what is an illegal immigrant and an iib holder okay uh i'll just first touch on the illegal immigrants issue an illegal immigrant could be a foreign national in india and by that uh, by extension to nagaland in view of what has happened in bangladesh let me again reassure you that after the turmoil in bangladesh after the recent uh, incidents in bangladesh we have not noticed any footfall into nagaland after the turmoil so i'm not saying of the past i'm saying after the recent spate of incidents we have not recent uh, witness any footfall uh the second is the issue of illegal immigrants per se and how we as a country or as a society and nagaland per se handle all these incidents um uh, sadly we are very lax in some of the things that we do throughout the country and also in nagaland uh i think we have mentioned this in one or forum earlier but uh let me mention this Uh, how we go wrong and why we should not go wrong about a month and a half back uh, there was an incident where a chinese national was staying illegally in nagaland he had obtained all documents his wife is a naga so no, i am not named the tribe okay uh, a foreign national illegally in india without a passport without a visa is able to obtain even up to an aadhar card and an indigenous certificate if this was to continue for a chinese national it could happen for anyone else and we don't know for how many other people this has happened already okay so i think firstly everybody needs to be become more responsible in all this while it is our primary duty to safeguard the safety and security of the country as well as the citizens i think it is equally everybody's responsibility not to commit any wrong or crime or to help anyone who is committing a crime so my first request is that everybody should be very very careful in giving documents identity documents to anyone within nagaland if someone approaches you uh while we all want to strengthen the system i can be pretty sure that 
Some of you have also raised these concerns that a lot of people are having indigenous certificates or local residency certificates or proofs or papers which have been obtained by them or rather procured by them at a cost all through Bhai Dosti. Okay, either by payment of money or Chenya Mano Asheni. So I think we need to go and tighten on these mechanisms. We just can't keep blaming others for it. Others includes government. But others includes other villages and other districts and others in the society also. Uh, I think we need to become very uh, careful in what documentation, what papers we are issu issuing to others. Uh, the second is the issue of illegal immigrants, uh, which we are uh, in Nagaland more concerned about is illegal Bangladeshi immigrants. But I would say that any illegal immigrant is an illegal immigrant. That would also include an illegal Myanmarese immigrant, if that is the case. Okay. There is no legality, no difference between an illegal a Myanmarese immigrant or a Bangladeshi immigrant or a Chinese or a Pakistani immigrant. They are all violating the law. So we need to be very careful. While ILP and illegal immigrants issue in this part of the state is more valid for the Bangladeshis probably. In the eastern side towards the border, is it, it is equally valid probably for the Myanmarese nationals. Okay, so uh, I'm, I know I'm talking to uh, the Dimapur based CSOs, but probably this message will go to everybody. So it's good that everybody knows that there is no difference in the law between an illegal uh, immigrant from any place. Now, coming to the issue of illegal immigrants, most of the people who are coming to Nagaland as Indian nationals, whichever community they come to, except for those who are from Nagaland, uh, they would be coming from other places. Okay? So the first stop for them to procure doc documents or obtain documents legally or illegally is outside Nagaland. It is not within Nagaland, it is outside Nagaland whether those documents are uh, genuine or forged, it is difficult to ascertain. Uh, I don't think that uh, any state except uh, Arunachal, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram has so much of focus on the ILPs also. Okay? It is a particular problem that we face, maybe Assam for a different reason, but your, your suggestion is well taken that we can request the Assam government or other state government, but the importance <coughs> that we attach to this issue, other states may or may not attach. So even if the DC to DC communication or other communication takes place, getting a response from that end is quite difficult. And I'm saying this based on an experience of many years in Nagaland. I think even Nagaland government has tried in the past to get documents verified from Assam and other places. We, we sort of rarely get a response. Uh, and since it is here, you would vote for what I'm saying. So these are issues, but uh, that doesn't mean that we will not make enough efforts. I think we will try to put better systems in place so that we can get documents verified. Uh, we'll discuss it in-house within the state government. Uh, but a few other things uh, I wanted to mention, uh, coming back to the ILP issue. Uh, the state government had set up a committee. The committee has set up its report which would be under consideration. However, the major practical problem that we face in Nagaland is Personally, even as DGP, I would say it is not check gates or anything, but it is checking. Okay. It is checking per se, not check gates. If you erect check gates at the roads, there is nothing which prevents people from coming through the fields and other areas. Okay. You cannot fence all the boundaries. So the issue is checking. Now, what happens is in Nagaland or for Nagaland, I think there would be at least 40, 50 authorities which would be authorized to issue or renew ILPs. Okay. I am just giving you a very practical example. Uh, although the state government has started an online system which is much better, but I think we need to speed up the online system of ILPs. Without that what happens is if you issue an ILP in a physical form, I will give you an example. For example, if an ILP is, is issued in a physical form in Shillong, okay, how does the say DC parent or OC parent or Chaluki or say uh, someone in more know whether the document is genuine or whether the signature is genuine on the document. Okay. 
So these are practical problems. I think for this, uh, the state government is trying to improve the online IIP system. Once that happens, I think that will happen very soon. I don't want to go into detail because the matter is still under consideration. But uh, there are real serious efforts to improve the system where the uh, uh, system of online issuing of ILPs will be strengthened. The law enforcement agencies, the police and the district administration, the government agencies uh, will have a centralized data bank, data bank from where to verify whether, a, whether an ILP is genuine or not, what is the period of validity of the ILP and if the, so for example, if the ILP is valid for 15 days, then whether the person is going back in 15 days or is staying beyond that and along with that a system of imposing of fines and punishments will come. Okay. So all these systems are being taken care of. Give us some time, I think more systems will improve in due course. Uh, uh, I think uh, the women who mentioned about uh, fingerprints and biometrics, uh, your suggestion is well taken, but there is an issue. With what do we check the fingerprints? With what database do we compare a fingerprint? Okay, I'm not saying it should not be done. Obviously, it should be done. But to check whether a fingerprint or a biometric is genuine, there has to be a back-end database with which you wish to check. I don't know when it will happen and how it will happen. But maybe in the ideal situation, we can work towards that. How that will happen, it will take some time, but it will... Uh, Maybe that could be thought of uh, over a period of time. It earlier this Timugudima JK was called Nitrogard. Nitrogard, not Timugudima. 1979, they start with it. Bengal Eastern Regulation Act 1873, ILP to Nagaland to implement for you. We did not we have started implementing ILP in 1979 only. And that is from Nitrogard only. That's why Now, we have we set up a committee or ILP Implementation Committee headed by me. So within six months, we are to support our report. So we have already submitted I, our ILP uh, committee to the state government. Now it is with the state government, it is our state government, it is Serious view to that, sir. I mean, we have already submitted member committee Prado submit to the It will very soon with the consultation of our civil societies. I mean, it will do very serious. I mean, that is just for your knowledge. Now, here, Yate Abdan Wa. Assam, within two months, they have detected duplicate false Beto Athar card. More than two, three thousand today, Kuring Nazi. Here, I fully support <coughs> our this uh, GP association and other members who have raised this issue, our uh, women leaders. Duplication be PC OS. Please don't blame only state or me. It is the collective effort. I mean, from a kilometer building, it will come to really successful. In the money, I invite Korea. I must say that we are the one who is inviting our illegal immigrants. Abna Logode, Abhi Logode, Ek Dega. We never do ourselves. We are not going to Now, 
as per my observation. I mean, the first ATM generation is your face for the eyes. Or uh, younger generation, I mean, an ATM shabde chai se kule. One day, Nagaland will become like a Tripura. Ito pra, I mean, ito short series pra, ito kota kure wala ne. Ito intermarriage. Lotha mota miyage shadi kure. How might be Mialogo Sadigure? Semabra Mialogo Sadigure? Eto Khan Pichi de Dai, Esa de Tai Sibole, Taitala Pachagan, Put Tio Naga Hobona, Miao. Eto we have even serious Tadigura. It is intermarriage problem problem Hobonas. I appreciate Mogotum district. Mogotum de Abnan and Tabi. Eight ton Miana Tabi. Like a white government property, Purigola, the Purigo. When it came, our civil society should be strong. See, there is no disagreement between what you are saying and what we want to do. Uh, however, it is everybody has to be taken on board. Uh, I think the gaps in the implementation of the ILP system, which is currently in place, is primarily because there is not a database and a data bank which is available. Once the online uh, system is enforced and I think uh, very few people are applying online as of now. If that online system of ILP is becomes even 70 to 80, ideally we would want 100 percent. If it even becomes 80 percent, 90 percent, then all the things that you are saying whether it is Aadhaar or Digi locker or checking their antecedents, which village they are coming, which village they are going. Aji laga date thi tum na chane thi. Aji to time daily pura issue kore ke na ahele to koi bosti jawala. Aji tarate likhi ke na dile bina tarate ponchi jale police or administration na chane to kuch jawala chena. So once this system is in place, I think things will improve. Just give us some time. Have a little bit of patience. Okay, there is no disagreement between what you are saying and what the government agrees and understands. It is only how we put a system in place. Uh, uh, I, I can tell you personally, uh, with the permission of the WCM, that it's been almost a month and a half that we have been working. Almost a mean, month and a half that I have been involved as the IT department has been working, Nagaland government has been working to put a system in place for online system of IITs. I think it is at a very advanced stage of being implemented. There is probably going to be a meeting of the uh, one in the government at the highest level very soon. Uh, I I hope we will see an improved ILP regime very soon. Once the system is there, I think things will improve. And even if you think that there are still gaps, please come up with your suggestions. We are open for your suggestions and we will include any of your suggestions that you want to. But give us some time. It, as of now, it's, it's, it's a very scattered system where, where the left arm, left hand doesn't know what the right is doing. Once we know when both the hands come together and we start working as a team, things will improve, definitely things will improve. We will come back to you. You have more suggestions to offer. Please give those suggestions. Well, again, I am not going into the committee recommendation. I have not even seen the committee the recommendation. But as you mentioned that there was an earlier notification why it has not been implemented in Dimapur. Dimapur is very typical. Dimapur is not like other districts in the in the state. Dimapur is very typical. There are, I, I don't, we have no figures as such, but I think on an everyday basis, the old Dimapur district, Dimapur, Chumuk, Dima, New Land, there would be at least a footfall of 50 to 60,000 people who just come into Dimapur for work or something and go out of Dimapur, you know. You have to think about all possibilities so that while we strengthen a system, while we strengthen a system, we are not discomforting anyone. We are not putting any Indian national to any discomfort due to that. All this takes time. Your concerns are valid, taken care of. Uh, just give us some time, give the government some time. Hopefully, we will see an improved uh, ILP implementation regime in the state very soon. Thank you very much. No, 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 we have not withdrawn. We have, we have to set up the committee because there was some problem. So we have submitted our committee report. Very soon we are going to take decision. What was the name of the committee and when was it uh, set up? Implementation Committee.
Nagaland ILP Implementation Committee. Okay, it was uh, set up when? Uh, five months back. Now we have submitted the report. Yeah. When do you think the government will, uh, will you know, respond to the I said very soon. I cannot uh, specifically say the date. No, I cannot tell you the date. But very soon. We are going to see it very soon. Yeah.